Friends, today is Thursday, June 23, 2022, and we're going to look at Exodus verses, uh, chapter 3, verses 4 through 6 today. Yesterday, you may remember that uh, if you've got your Bibles open, you may look back at the verses just earlier in Exodus 3 and see that Moses is, uh, he is looking for pasture near Mount Horeb. He's on the Sinai Peninsula. And he, it's a desert area, and he's moved up near the mountain where presumably temperatures drop and it gets a little bit greener. And so um, he then sees a bush that is burning but not consumed. He meets the Lord of creation, the one who can rearrange the laws of physics and chemistry to get our attention if he wants to. And uh, the Lord sees that Moses is fascinated with this wonder that he is creating. And then in verse 4, the Lord calls to him out of the bush and says, Moses, Moses, isn't it wonderful to think that God knows your name? God knows your name. You don't have to introduce yourself to God. You know, when you meet someone you don't know, it's always there's always a little awkwardness in it. I mean, what do you talk about? Do you talk about your profession or your education or your roles in your life? You know, you're a dad or you're a mom or you're a student. What do you, what do you talk about in order to give them a little window into these complex souls that we have and these lives that have histories. And it's not easy to introduce yourself to someone if if you really want them to know you. You don't need to introduce yourself to God. God knows your name. He knows who you are. And in fact, he knows more about you than you know about yourself. And Moses says back to God, here I am. And God says, all right, don't come any closer to this bush. Remove the sandals from your feet. For the ground, the place on which you are standing, the ground on which you are standing is holy. It's holy ground. We're, this, is the, this is the portion of scripture in the Bible where this idea of holy ground comes from. You've probably heard that expression, what it means to stand on holy ground. It comes from this moment, this take off your sandals moment for Moses. And then God says to Moses something else very interesting. He says, Moses, this isn't just a one-off appearance. It's not just a theophany, like a marvel in your life that happens and you remember it, you know, you tell stories about it or, or maybe you forget about it. This, is, this moment, when you're meeting me, actually connects with who you are. It connects with your family tree. So the one you're meeting today is the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This must have blown Moses' mind that his life, which had seemed to take a strange turn, and he was now starting over in a new new family, in a new clan, and you know, way down the social spectrum. He was he was flourishing in this he decided to flourish in this new setting, but you know, radical change in his life. That all of his life was connected to the lives of his ancestors by by the God that he was meeting. That what was coming for him was part of a plan that involved his family in the past. That he was actually a link in a great chain, an ongoing story. And there would be more after him. Uh, Before he was ever alive and after he was alive, there there was a big story going on. And as he's going to find out through experience, as well as through the call we'll be exploring next week, This uh, story was a story of redemption and freedom. It was a story of restoration. It was a story of learning and education and encounter. It was an adventure, a spiritual adventure, a great spiritual adventure. Uh, uh, The story of a a nation being birthed. And he was right in the middle of it. Uh, So God was the God not only of creation, unique and, and unlike any other creature, because he's a source of life and, and order, but he's also the Lord of history. He's the Lord of our individual history. Of our, He's the one who created our ancestors and is piecing together providentially the possibilities for our, our lives, uh, our lives of love and service. So let's take a moment and, uh, and pray. Heavenly Father, um, we trust that we can encounter you wherever we go and indeed that wherever we are can be holy ground 
when we become attentive to your presence, when we open our hearts and our lives to your work, to your ways, to your word, we are creating, we are allowing you to create in us a holy space. And around us, uh, the ground can become holy. Uh, and we thank you for this amazing power that you have. We, we're glad that a true worship is not confined to shrines and temples. It can take place on mountains and in the outdoors and even in moments of humble work and, 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 uh, and, and everyday labor. Those can become moments of special revelation and divine encounter. And most of all, we thank you today that the glory of the God that Moses met on the mountain, oh, a lot more glorious than the gods of Egypt or even of the, the glory of that uh, great empire. We thank you for this and pray for it in Jesus' name. Amen.